everyone, welcome back for more Exosiers content. In today's video, I'm going to give you my first impressions on the Choreoverse for FC Shakan, new changes to his passive and skills, how his passive affects the team and other skill improvements. Before that, if you want to see more Exosiers content, please hit the subscribe button down below. Currently have a notice for Choreoverse Chance Increase, Blue Dragons Descent, Shakan Recruit. So this, the maintenance will probably start tomorrow so it will be in effect for a week until October 26th so you can recruit hero plus fate core with higher probability than premium recruitment so if you can see here this is the same um, design for his FC the way uh, it, it still looks the same as when I started the game so no changes on his design We'll go straight to the changes in his passive because just wanted to share with you guys I've had FC Shakan for quite a while he's he was one of the FCs that I got in the stream of creation um, he's been in my account for a long time I haven't been using him since I started uh, because he doesn't bring that much before this core reverse but we'll go directly to his new passive which is highlighted in red so it's blue dragons protection increases block of all allies by 150 percent of own block for one round so removed when ally is attacked so just to give you guys a a kind of a picture on how this would help um his team so i did a, i did a prior research to this video already and um more or less the average block of or the the range of the block stats that heroes have in exos heroes is between 20 to 390 so if you average that the average the average or the median is 195 so at level 75 so if you let's say for example you calculate for shakan's block so shakan's block is at 120 uh, for his block stat so if you multiply that with 150 percent you get 180 for his block so more or less the 180 will be passed on to himself so for himself so his existing block is 120 plus 180 so that that will give him a 300 block stat uh, for his passive if you for example add let's say you you have you're using him with rachel and with baraka so baraka's block stat is at 20 so he is he has one of the lowest stats in the game so 20 plus 180 equals 200 for baraka which is actually in the median range or average or above average of 195 so that's 200 that, that that helps him a lot already in terms of blocking damage so for rachel rachel has a block stat of 60 so if you add 180 it uh, totals to 240 which is already above average stat for block so it's a so it's a very significant increase um it would really help them it will it's, it's not really assured that it would save them from damage but it's a it's a very big bump already versus to their original stats so a lot of a lot of people have been have been discussing already on will it matter because of the rng probably yes probably no so it all depends again on testing and how you also level up the block stats of your characters so if if this is just a base data on level 75 if you try to upgrade the equipment for 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 your heroes definitely your block stats would increase what if for example you have garf and tanto on in the front of your team so garf has 210 stat for block so that's really good already uh but if you add the passive of shakan of plus 180 that's a 390 block stat which is the maximum already so a, a considerable increase 
uh, when it comes to Blockstat. And lastly is Tantalo. Tantalo has 390, which is one of the highest. So you add 180 to him, you'll be getting a 570 block stat, which is very, very high. Take note, guys, that the block stat passive that Shakan gives is only applicable once you start the game and is instantly removed when a hero is being attacked or was attacked. Whether he, he blocks it, he dodges it, or he absorbs the damage, it gets removed. So it's a one-time protection, probably picture out uses for this in tag PvP. I'm not sure if, if this um, passive will help in, in PvP, your main PvP team, but it's up for debate and it should be out for testing once uh, you have Shakan and you, if you're willing to build Shakan out. I'll try to build him as much as possible. I've had him for a while. He's been at level 75 in my team for quite a while. And I'll try to, to build this one and try to play test him alongside Rachel and Baraka. So let's move from his passive to his S1. So his S1 is Dragon's Anger. So the improvement is he deals now 375% damage to one enemy. So that's the difference between his first skill, but his mana requirement increased also to two. So considerable amount of damage um, and uh, is already good with his guaranteed critical hit if target is disheartened. His last skill in, it, in, it, in his S2 is the Luge Dragon. So the difference with the first one is deals 255% which is an increase from 210 but the damage now is dealt to all enemies. Take note of that, all enemies. So um, it's a big uh, upgrade but I'm more interested more in his passive because he will be valued more for his passive. His damage actually uh, for S1 and S2 will just be gravy in terms of in terms of um, dealing damage to the enemies because again there are a lot of apprehensions on on using him because he is a frost hero and um, there are a lot of summer summer's blessing heroes out there in PvP and PvP tag so again he will primarily be used for his passive. Uh, alone the rest will be gravy to his kit so as for summoning him so he has a 0.7 percent fate chance increase so for you, you can earn one recruit mileage for recruiting heroes 11 times so in any can can be pity pulled 19 core mileages as required for guaranteed obtain okay so um if you ask me if you should pull for him well right now if you have enough cess save uh even for extra try to pull for him but he's not really he's not really necessary in today's meta unless there is some kind of team that can really um can really benefit from his uh passive so for now i'll reserve judgment i'll only suggest that if you have really, really excess cess uh, right now, you try to pull for him if you don't have him yet. But if you don't have him and have little resources, um, try to save up your cess for the upcoming fate course, probably in a week or two weeks. So he also has an exclusive fate core chance for his weapon, so blue dragon's claw. So again, it's it's your it's your usual fate core weapon. Um, it uh, the upside for this one is you get an additional 3,000 combat power for that specific hero if you equip it on him. So the odds as well is at 0.7%, but I would not recommend you doing this uh, or, or spending zest for this one. So that's it folks for FC Shakan's Core Reverse FC. So please leave your comments suggestions violent reactions and positive reactions if there are any 
Okay, so that concludes this video. You all stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Warden out.